Okay, I um, got my cooling system up. Uh, going on YouTube, I find that there aren't many people who use uh, flood coolant on their lathes. A lot of people use air, but with some of the metals I'm lathing, that would probably introduce too much oxygen and probably create a fire. Um, so I'm using flood coolant. I spent $50 on this. Uh, I mixed it uh, 5 to 1, so I got 25 gallons out of it. So hopefully it'll last a while. So this is my my port that comes out and that's my cutter and we're going to do a light cut on this steel. It's mild steel, I really don't need it because that's a carbide cutter but let's just test it. I have a little valve adjustment here. I'll probably change that. This is a 175 pound magnet um, that my cooling system connects to. The hose comes down to my coolant system and my return valve comes up here through the bottom which that's the, the piece I made and then I just put this piece of steel on it um, because I have the four bolts if I put this on there the liquid will flow under but I won't get any uh, particles coming in so let's try this thing out I don't know how messy this is going to be um, this second like I gotta put my mask on first Okay, so let's turn this thing on. Now the flood coolant is pumping. Still waiting for it. It's coming up now. So it takes a while to fill the pipe up apparently, so let's turn this guy off. So you can hear it running. Um, looks like we've made it up to here so far. Um, we just have to go up to there. Now if I were to open this up, oh that's my fault. Okay, so I had it turned really low. Okay. So let's do this, like, that was my fault, it was so slow. So here we go. Move that over a little more onto the cutter. Whoa! Just a second. Turn this off. You gotta reverse this. Okay. Turn this back a ways. It's it's just a test this way. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get our cutter over here first. Turn this down, give a little flood. Okay. So we're doing our cut here. Um, like I said, this is overkill. Actually, that cut is really smooth, if we can see it here. I don't even need my mask. Now, obviously, a flood cooling system, I can go a lot faster. So, it looks like we're almost done here. So I'm going to turn my cooling system off. And 
looks like we're just about done with the cut. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's turn this guy off and we're done. Okay, let's pull out here. Now let's see what the heck happened. What happened? Okay, there's my my drain. Um, oh, look at that. We actually got coolant in the drain. Uh, not enough to get over that hump. I might need to adjust that. But look at that. My drain actually works. It's going in there right now. I can see the flow. Um, wow. That's pretty awesome. So it appears to work. Obviously when I get enough uh, fluid in there it's going to push it up. But what I'll probably do is mount this so it's a little more, it's an even flow. So it goes instantly, returns instantly to the tank and then we don't have any uh, stuff staying in there too long. Um, but let's look at the cut here. Let's see that cut. Perfectly cold. That steel is perfectly cold right now. Um, wow. I mean, it is cold. There's no heat at all. That is amazing. Okay. Well, looks like I have a coolant system. Let's see where else we got coolant. We got some up there. Uh, I have a big splash guard back here. That's what uh, this is. Um, there's nothing I got up here. Nothing on my gauges here. Um, it's still, I can look at the fluid down here. It's still um, coming down. I might want to get a little squeegee to finish it off. Uh, as you can see, it's still draining. Uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking uh, running it for the first time. I've been thinking about this for months, how I'm going to do this. And um, boy, I'm just really happy. Um, really happy with this coolant system. So anyway, uh, there's a problem there. That's going to be a problem. I might fill that up with silicon. Uh, this is deep right here. I think I might just fill that up with silicon to pull it out quickly. Um, I think that might be an issue. That's a, a bed right here. It actually goes from here to, um, where is it? Oh, right here. And I can actually uh, pull these bolts out and remove this bed if I need something to swing over up to 17 inches. Right now I can do 12 inches, which is probably more than enough for everything I'm doing, but I never know. Um, but that's an issue there. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, other than that, uh, these two here, that's an issue. I think I'll just fill those up with silicon and I can easily pull that out later. Um, but I don't see any other issues. Uh, still draining. So, And then just this simple issue here, draining it in there. Um, overall I'm happy. Um, now I can start hitting some of my heavier metals, uh, getting nice clean cuts, not having to wear my bits down. Because um, these guys here, that little thing there is about 10 bucks. So the, the prices add up. Anyway, successful test, completed this for the weekend, and I'm real happy with that. So I was able to get something done this weekend. Um, anyway, time to get to work.